I am currently in the middle of Narnia, literally. I've walked about a good 300 meters so far. The beach is there and I have to go down this amazing, lovely, narrow trail. Okay, still a long way down. As you can see, the route isn't exactly friendly, but this is the uh, one of many ways to get down, I guess. This is the one that Google Maps showed once I'm here. I'm not backing down. And the best thing is right now I'm looking at the beach. There's like three people at the whole beach, I think. So, nice. to Crystal Bay Beach. About 10 minutes, maximum 15 minutes with traffic, which is non-existent pretty much so far over here. It is very, very crowded out here. I think this is the one of the beaches where uh, a lot of people come and uh, do the swimming, the snorkeling, the fishing, the whole lot really, the whole thing's going on. Look at this. So it's very, very busy right now. I'm gonna go up the hill. Apparently there's a way going up. I don't know what's at the top, but I guess we'll find out. But look at this amazing stream of water. It's coming from a pond out there, clean water coming through and bang into the ocean. In all honesty, I actually don't know where the water into the pond is coming from, but that's a whole different story. My knees and elbows are pretty much gone, but uh, I'm gonna continue going to the top. No one seems to be going uh, to the top and using the stairs, so there's either nothing there or there is some amazing views. It's one or the other. There's no in between here in this one. But I'm hoping it's gonna be an exclusive amazing shot of the whole beach. I did ask the locals, but uh, very limited English. So I took that as a sign and said, you know what? I'm just gonna go to the top and hope for the best. Luckily, I did see some civilization, two people. I asked the question, is it safe? What's at the end? And he said, yeah, it's a beach, not many people, but uh, you can go. Okay, this place is actually really, really nice. The water is much more clearer and blue in color. It's a small beach, not many people at all. I don't think many people are up for the long walk up and down, it took about 15 minutes, but this is definitely worth it. I really like this beach. So far, my, one of my favorite beaches, so far. And I've only been to, well, this is my third beach. So a lot more to see, but uh, this is amazing. Palawan Cliff and I'm facing the main touristic mountain picture that every single tourist pretty much takes when they come into Nusa Penida. The sunset is upon us, upon me, that's the like terminology, and I'm enjoying the sunset. This is an amazing, amazing place for those people that love taking pictures, love taking videos. There's a lot of Instagram Instagrammable spots. I'm currently in a bird's nest, believe it or not. Uh, there's a couple more bird's nests, different looking style and stuff. Uh, there's a couple ships uh, and a hand and uh, yeah if you're looking for Instagramable spots in Nusa Penida then this is your spot. And if you're a sunset catcher like myself then come to the top of Kikiling Beach. That's what you need to do. You need to get yourself here and catch the amazing sunset like I am right now. And also for those that are wondering, you know the amazing Nusa Penida picture that every tourist takes? Well, in front of me is the route to that place. You see, the walk starts from there. You make your way, you make your way down and you get right to the end and take a picture over there. It's one hell of a walk. This is basically uh, leg day. I mean, going down hasn't been too far or too bad, but uh, it's the going up that I'm worried about. <laughs> People that are getting to the top are completely out of breath and sweat, so yeah. We're finally here at Atu Beach. Getting here, the, there's pretty much you park up at the top there. There's a rude guy that stops you and uh, forces you to buy a coconut, no matter how much you're saying no. And he's like, no, you have to buy one. It's free parking, and he's not even part of the, like, the, the coast people or anything. It's just a random guy that stops there with his bunch of mates and tells you you 
have to buy a coconut. And he starts off with 40k and he goes 30k, 20k, whatever it is. Regardless, I didn't pay, pay for the coconut. I was just worried that he was going to smash my bike. So, I made it to Atta Beach so far, so good. It's an amazing small private beach. Well, private small, nice beach out of the way because it's completely on the east side of the island. So about an hour's drive from, from the port and where I'm staying. But it's worth it, it's pretty cool, not many people, water's nice, it's a couple of cliffs, I'm um, not sure about the fish, I haven't gone way to swimming. in a way where they try to make money. So there's a cliff area here for 20,000, which is about a pound, I guess, for entry fee. It's about 10 meter distance, but it's just because it's on a cliff. It makes it look better, so people are willing to pay that money. I luckily have a drug, so I'm gonna try and get an amazing shot of Diamond Beach. Buy another ice cream, because when you go up the hill, believe me, you'll be sweating. I'm pretty much drenched in soap right now. And it's on to the next destination, so I'll see you guys there. What's a beach without a bit of climbing down? We're a narrow road where you can probably die and slip. Here we go. I made it to the bottom. So far, the longest step, number of steps was this one here. But the views are amazing. I'm going to have to go over these rocks to get all the way to the beach. And I think I'm going to swim in this one. The waves are amazing and I need to cool down. So here we go. Beach, you've been amazing, but now it's time to go to the next destination. Definitely so far my favorite beach, even though you can't swim. Still my one of my favorite beaches, not only because of the sights, the views, the mini crabs that you see everywhere. 